Wanaki child care providers are feeling confident about the near future of their business. The village approved temporary subsidies for the industry. JT Siskowski has you covered on why local child care providers say state or federal action is needed to save the industry's long term future. In the absence of action from the federal government or the state, the Wanakee Village Board voted to set aside tens of thousands of dollars in pandemic relief funds to support its local child care industry. But child care providers like Heather Murray of Art House Preschool say they need a long-term solution. When we finally got funding from the state during COVID, it really helped all of us recognize what we do for the communities and the economy. She's grateful that her community is acting to support her industry. They came up with this way to support us. So that part I'm very thankful for. And they also decided to go with a daycare forum. So they'll be meeting with us quarterly. The village will send one-time payments to child care providers. The money will largely mirror the Child Care Counts program, which sent federal pandemic aid to child care centers. Congress allowed that money to expire, and the state government failed to reach an agreement to subsidize the industry. And we tried really hard to get that funding back, but it didn't happen. Her laughter is a bit of gallows humor about the difficult choices her operation faces when the federal and local money run out in the coming months. I mean, raising tuition or finding cost reductions. Which would further reduce the available child care slots in the community. Child care providers stress that they are educating kids during their most crucial years of brain development. And to underscore how important they are to society, they're organizing a strike of sorts. Next month, they'll participate in a day without child care to try and make people see how crucial they are to make the whole economy run. But for now, in Wanakee, J.T. Siskowski, 27 News.